Well, first, I would like to say thank you for coming in today to interview. Absolutely. My pleasure. Well, Anita, most people know you as a girl from Nantucket who does landscaping, but I want to know a little bit more about your family. Well, um, my mother was Margareta Nettles, and she was a weaver here on Nantucket, but she was originally from Sweden, moved to the United States in 69, and then was in New York City, where she met my father, James Nettles, who was a jack-of-all-trades. Basically, people on the island know him as an actor. He was in the theater here. And... Um, we moved here when I was around seven years old, and I've been here ever since. I've done traveling and, you know, gone and lived other places, but now we're here, or now I'm here. How about the landscaping job? How much do you enjoy doing that on Nantucket? I love landscaping on Nantucket. I love being outside. I love being with the plants, being in the fresh air, getting dirty, working my body hard, feeling tired at the end of the day. Feels nice. How many jobs and what were they before you? became a landscaper? I basically had one job before becoming a landscaper. I was a chef. And um, I worked on Nantucket. I lived in France for a little while and worked in a bakery in France. I worked in New York City for a short little time, but most of my cooking was here on the island in restaurants, and I was a private chef for a little while as well. If you don't mind me asking, what is your ethnicity background? Like my mother was Swedish from Sweden, and my father African American from Harlem, but his family was from Barbados and also from um, Halifax. So, and my grandfather, on my mother's side, was from Belgium. So That's all I know. But so I'm a good mix. So you do travel to some of those places every once in a while. I've been to Sweden plenty of times to see my family, and my family is still there. Did your parents have any influence on what you wanted to be or how you are today? No. I mean, they didn't, like, try to influence what job. They just, you know, made sure that I was happy in what I was doing. And they wanted to, they supported me. So I think that I have to say, like, one of the most fondest memories I have of my parents is that they would always throw um, a holiday party in December, December 13th, which is a Swedish holiday called Santa Lucia. And they would invite everybody over and there would just be this big huge spread of Swedish food and you know some people would bring other dishes to eat but I feel like that was I loved how they invited everybody into the house and it didn't matter it was you know, everybody was different and I really liked that my parents did that and I liked spending time with those people and doing that with them what brought you to Nantucket in the first place um my mom and my dad came here with Walter Beinecke who was a big part of Nantucket way back in the day. And he and my mom came here to weave. Um, and that's how we got here. My mother was a weaver. And then, well, she worked at the Nantucket Looms as well, which was owned by um, Bill Euler and Andy Oates. And we would summer here. We started off summering here. And then my mother and father fell in love with it. So we decided to move here. What does your dad do for a living? He did a lot of different things, <laughs> but his ma the main things that he did was he was in the theater and he also wove with my mother in her weaving studio. When you were being a landscaper, what kind of influenced you to decide, let's go be a landscaper? Well, uh, all of my girlfriends were landscaping and I was sort of jealous that they were doing that. So I decided that I would try it out and it stuck with me. Events as far as for, for with the landscaping goes, I mean, my business partner and I did flowers for a while for weddings, and those were pretty spectacular. We don't do that any longer just because it's a real hassle. But um, we did put together some pretty amazing weddings down at the White Elephant. Has your jobs, have, ever, have they ever taken you somewhere else? California. I went to California to build um, an edible garden in Berkeley. <laughs> Um, I traveled once with a friend down to New York City to um, decorate a hotel for Christmas. And we do have some jobs coming up off-island as far as landscaping goes and designing up near Boston. Do you ever wish that you would have stayed in Sweden? Oh, my husband and I talk about it. Like, it would be nice to be able to be there part of the year. It's Sweden, where we are, where we live, or where my family is, is very similar to Nantucket as far as the landscape goes, and small town, and it's really nice. What made you stay in Nantucket? 
it's just a wonderful community. I like how, you know, friendly everybody is with each other and I feel safe somewhat, you know, but it's just, it's my home and I, I love being here. How do the schools compare from Nantucket to New York? Well, I didn't go to school in New York. I, I left um, Nantucket for 10th grade and I went to private school in Western Massachusetts in a little town called Charlemont. I went to the academy at Charlemont um, and that was a tiny school. I had 10 kids in my class. There were 65 students, and that was K through 12 at that time. I, there's a, a lot more now. Um, I really liked where I was off island for my high school years. I felt like I got had a lot of good attention from some really fantastic teachers. Do you ever want to go back to school? No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm all done with that. If you don't mind, who is your husband? My husband is Michael Adam Stefanski. And he is a landscaper. He's not originally from here. He's from Plymouth, Massachusetts. His parents were from, or his mom was from Brooklyn, but his father was there as well. And his three older siblings were born there. Um, but they have ties to Nantucket. My husband is related to the Farantellas. So that's how they got to the island and they were landscaping. Or not landscaping, but like they were here in the summertime renting. And then my husband started to work for his cousin. And then so he sort of st stayed here. Did you guys meet through landscaping? No, we met at a bar at Cambridge Street. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Anita, for coming in today, and thank you for participating in this. Thank you for having me, Olivia. My favorite part about this interview with Anita was the fact that she had so many different type of ethnic backgrounds, not just American and Swedish, but Barbados and Belgium. And I thought that was very interesting. <laughs>